Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On November 27, 1860, newspapers across the state carried the news that Governor Pettus had the previous day called for a convention to determine if Mississippi should remain in the Union or not. After Abraham Lincoln's election as president, South Carolina had seceded and invited other southern states to join her in the formation of a southern nation. A native of Tennessee, John Jones Pettus had moved to Mississippi as a young boy. He represented Kemper County in the House of Representatives and was elected to the state Senate in 1848. Six years later, he was named president of the Senate. Pettus served as governor for five days between the resignation of Governor Henry Foote on January 5, 1854, and the inauguration of John J. McRae on January 10th. In the late 1850s, as the country's sectional crisis worsened, Pettus became identified as a fire eater, a strong supporter of secession. He was overwhelmingly elected governor in 1859, and in his inaugural address predicted that the growing sectional animosity would eventually lead to the abolition of slavery. Pettus called on other slave states to prepare for what he perceived was the inevitability of secession. Josiah Winchester and Alexander K. Farrar would represent Adams County in the state secessionist convention when it convened in Jackson on January 7, 1861. Two days later, Mississippi seceded from the Union. Hello, my name is Ralph Shields, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.